Hi everyone, Christmas is just around the corner. If you're still looking for gift ideas, maybe this DIY nail polish decorated phone case could be what you're looking for. Did you know that nail stamping is not limited to just nails? Since nail polish is a type of paint, we can literally paint it on almost any surface. If you like DIY videos, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for weekly new videos. Today I'm going to be decorating this clear phone case. Depending on which model your phone is, you can pretty much get these type of clear soft plastic cases for any model. And it only costs a few dollars, so it's not going to break the bank. I'm going to put it on my phone to see if it fits. While I've got the cover on, I'm going to get a piece of label sticker and stick it over the phone's logo. So when I do the designs later, I know not to cover that area up. The sticker is a little bit too long, so I just chopped off a little bit on the side to cut it down to size. Okay, so since the phone case is relatively large compared to our nails, Conat actually has a stamping set that comes with a larger stamper designed especially for stamping larger objects. It's called the Fancy Stamping Kit. It's available on my website which I'll link in the description below if you're interested. The stamper is long and rectangular and it's the same material as the standard stampers so everything works the same as the stamping nail art. The set does come with a larger image plate, but I'm going to use the Dream Girl image plates this time. It's got lots of cute designs I can use. There are larger designs on the plate which normally don't fit on nails, so this is the perfect opportunity to try out some of the larger designs. To stamp the designs, I'm going to use Conat Stamping Nail Polish in black. This will give a bold outline to all the designs we will be stamping. Starting with Dream Girl 05 image plate, apply stamping polish over the long design on the right. Scrape off excess polish using the scraper, then transfer the image using the large stamper. You can roll the stamper onto the plate since it does come with a slightly curved surface. Once the design is on the stamper, quickly grab the phone case and stamp it on the underside of the case. You can flip it over to see where you are stamping. Once you're ready to stamp, press the stamper onto the case. Either roll it around or use your finger to press it down to help transfer the design. Don't wait too long to transfer or else you might find the nail polish will dry and won't transfer completely. In between stamps, you can clean the stamper and scraper with nail polish remover. Since the stamper picked up more than the design you wanted, you can use nail polish remover to wipe away the unwanted prints as well to clean it up a bit. I think this soft plastic is acetone safe. I used acetone remover on it and it didn't ruin the surface or muddy it up. However, I don't recommend using polish remover on hard plastic as it will melt the case. Next, I used Dream Girl Image Play 14 to pick up this street light design. I placed it on the bottom right corner of the case. Again, if you want to see where you're stamping, flip the case over and stamp underneath it. Press the entire design to transfer it onto the case. Then remove any unwanted prints. On the same plate, I found this adorable poodle print. Since this design is a bit smaller, I was able to pick the design up using the standard size stamper and placed it next to the street lamp. Then I added another doggy behind the first one so they can have each other to play with. And then I added some trays on the bottom left corner of the case to fill up that space. I am totally just making it up as I go. I didn't pre-design where I wanted to place everything. So be creative. You don't have to follow me exactly. You can totally make it your own. I added a butterfly and a couple of cloud prints above the other prints since they're in the air. It makes sense to put them higher up. After that, there was still heaps of areas I could fill up, but I decided to just do a couple more and stop there. Next, I used a white stamping polish and added some dandelions to the top corner of the case. 
I placed three different size ones around the camera hole. So far this is what it looks like without any color. Next I'm going to fill the designs in to make it more colorful. Grab a detail brush and pick up some white polish to color in the poodle. Make sure you color within the lines. For more precision, try applying the colors with a dotted motion instead of moving the brush inside the lines. I feel you make less mistakes this way. Since we are coloring the reverse side of the case, you can paint over the black lines. It will cover up on the reverse side but when you flip the case over to the front, the black lines will still show through. For the next doggy, I went with a glitter polish. It does take longer to dry but the result will be worth it. It'll be super cute and sparkly. For the trees, I went with a nude color for the branches and the tree trunk. I didn't want to go too dark and lose contrast. For the street lamp, I went with a yellow color. And on top for the clouds, I went with a white polish. One of the clouds had different patterned hearts in it, so I went around them with white polish and I filled in the hearts with some pink and light pink polish. On top, I went with the nude again for the stand, then green for the little bird and white for the birdhouse although it looks more like a mailbox. Once you're done coloring in, wait until the polish dries. Then you can cover it onto your phone or wrap it up and gift it to your friends and family. What do you think about this DIY phone case? Do you like the design? Let me know in the comments below. If you would like to win this Conat Fancy Stamping Kit, subscribe to my channel, like this video and comment below if you use an Android or Apple phone. Winner will be announced next week. Congrats to the winner of the last giveaway. Please contact me to claim your prizes. You can find more videos on my channel and visit my website for nail art supplies. Thank you for watching.